If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker, the place where making money is nice, but making movies is nicer. Now you may recall on the blog a few weeks back that I mentioned this little item here. This is the Kobe 7-inch external color monitor uh, that my super awesome bargain hunting wife picked up for $10. Now external monitors are great obviously so you can see more of what you're shooting, uh, but they're really handy for things like uh, if you've built a camera crane or jib. You want to be able to see what your camera sees or if you want to set up some kind of teleprompter. These are great. The problem with something as inexpensive as this is that it has zero pro features. Uh, for example, they have non-standard video inputs, uh, it has an internal battery that you can't swap out, and there's no mounting options of any kind. There's no quarter inch thread on this thing that you can hook up uh, to some kind of mounting device. So I did figure out how to create a quarter inch thread and attach it to this monitor, but the bigger question was how then do I clamp it to my tripod? Answering that question led me on this odyssey. So the standard clamp for this kind of job is a Manfrotto super clamp. It attaches to any post like a tripod leg. You can get them on B&H for $25 or you can get a knockoff for about $20 which includes the mounting thread. I thought I could do better than that so I looked on eBay and I found this, basically a C-clamp with a ball head on top. It looks pretty good and the price was right, about $7.50, but as I read the fine print on the bottom, I discovered that the clamp was made mostly of plastic and I was worried if I put too much torque on it, it would break. So I thought I had better find a different solution, but I like the design. Okay, this is what I came up with. I'm calling this the frugal clamp. Essentially, it's a C-clamp attached to a mini ball head. The uh, C-clamp is solid steel and will give you all kinds of torque, so whatever uh, cylindrical surface you attach this to, it won't come off. The mini ball head is mostly metal parts uh, and will articulate in any direction. So whatever you attach to this quarter inch screw, uh, you can position just about anywhere. There's no cutting or drilling involved in this project. It's easy to make, but the best news is it only costs 10 bucks. Okay, here's your parts list. You've got a medium duty C-clamp made by American DJ. It costs $3.75 on Amazon or eBay. You've got a mini ball head. These are $5.80 on eBay. You've got a 3 8 inch bolt that's 3 quarters of an inch long. And you've got a rubber tip, half inch rubber tip. These are four for two bucks at a hardware store. To make this you'll need some gaffer's tape, duct tape will work too, some petroleum jelly, a flathead screwdriver, and some pliers or a wrench. Okay, let's put this together. Take your C-clamp and uh, unscrew the knob considerably until you can access that bolt that sticks out of the top. Unscrew the bolt and take off the lock washer. You'll now swap out the bolt with the one that you purchased. This is the 3 8 inch bolt that's about 3 quarter inches long. Put the lock washer back on it and screw it back into the C-clamp. It's too bad you can't use the other bolt but it won't fit. Next you're going to want to thicken up your threads a little bit so that the rubber tip will fit on the end. I'm doing this with gaffer's tape. You can do it with duct tape or whatever else will work. Uh, just put some on. I think this is about a half an inch in width. Test it. Uh, see if the rubber tip will fit. Better. If it doesn't, put some more tape on. If it won't fit, take some off. Then you're going to take the tip off and lubricate the end of the thread with some petroleum jelly. This is so that it won't bore through the rubber tip when you snug it up against something. Then put the rubber tip back on and take your mini ball head and unscrew the quarter inch adapter that goes in the bottom giving you a 3 8 inch thread which you will then screw on to the top of the C-clamp. Next take your pliers or a wrench and tighten the bolt down against the lock washer until it collapses. And you're pretty much done. In fact you are done. That's it. Good job. Okay let's attach the thing. Uh, I'm attaching mine to my tripod arm here so we're gonna Wrap it around the tripod arm and screw it down, snug as it'll go. But this is where I ran into a problem. Apparently the end of the thread was digging right through the end of the rubber tip and scarring up my tripod. And that's not going to work. So I figured out I needed some kind of buffer and this is it. This is a uh, metal nut that I dropped in here so that when the thread will, t it'll turn against the nut and not the end of the tip. So now you've got this quarter inch uh, screw exposed and you can attach anything to it, but remember I have a monitor with no quarter inch thread. So here's how I fixed that. I put uh, one of the SEMA quick connect plates onto the back of the monitor. Now I didn't screw it to the back, 
I removed the screw and the pin and the spongy pad and stuck it there with some double stick tape. But this isn't just any double stick tape, this is super mount tape featured at Radio Shack. It holds up to 100 pounds if you can believe that. Uh, it's also known as 3M VHB tape or very high bond. And if you think two bucks is expensive, try buying a roll of this stuff. It costs 40 bucks on Amazon. Okay, so let's mount the thing. We're going to take our uh, SEMA quick connect base and attach it to the uh, frugal clamps thread. Spins right on here, put it in position. Then you're going to just hold the spring back and pop your monitor. It goes right on. Snaps into place. You click it to lock shut so it doesn't fall off. Then you loosen the mini ball head and you can adjust it into any position you like and lock it down. Congratulations, you've just mounted your non-mountable monitor. And that's the C-clamp mount or frugal clamp. If you like this project, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for more. And you can also find us on Instructables, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you've got a comment, question, or request, or a picture of a project that I've built that you've modified, please send it to thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail.com. Bye-bye.